Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Today we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do uh, a little bit of a healing technique to be able to heal one thing at a time. One of the things that I used to teach was when I was a little kid. I used to go into my mum's bedroom and uh, open up her jewellery box, and she used to have a, a bunch of jewellery which was all knotted up, and I was so excited that I wanted to unknot all my jewellery to make my mum feel good. So I began, and the energy was high, very high. And then I started to try and undo everything. And what I found myself doing was going from one thing to another, one thing to another. And if this didn't work, then I'd go to another thing. And then I'd try another way, and I'd go to another piece of jewellery. And then I'd go to a, a silver chain, which was tied up amongst everything, and that wouldn't work. And within the space of 10 minutes, my energy had depleted. I had felt um, like I'd, I'd not accomplished anything and uh, I felt disappointed in myself. And I threw them back in with anger, sh shut the box and then went out and I felt a failure. I did a meditation about uh, 17 years ago. And in that meditation, it was all about how to clear our suffering and that particular moment of a child came up. So I actually saw myself in the jewellery and getting so upset that I was nearly crying because I couldn't separate the jewellery. I meditated on this for a few days thereafter and I realised what was being told to me by my mum in spirit. And that was that most of us want to fix everything in an instant. And we get so overwhelmed at looking at all the issues that we have within ourselves and within our family's issues and all our children and everything that it becomes like that jewellery all tangled up. And it's very hard to fix anything. So today, let's make a start. And 17 years ago, helped me understand how to actually heal that suffering and all of that jewellery, which is a representation of all our issues, problems, fears, worries, doubts, and everything else that's entangled within the mind. So let's do this now. First thing I'd like you to do is maybe go and grab a few crystals, maybe 10 crystals, doesn't matter, just grab them all, as many as you can. And maybe get some of your healing oils. If you have used some of my healing oils, go and grab four or five of them and then Come back again so just pause this and then come back okay so now that you're back and you've got your crystals uh, they're all in front of you and your oils I want you to sit comfortably and what I'd like you to do now is without thought grab a oil whether it's one oil you've got or ten oils just grab one oil okay so I'm doing the same it doesn't matter what oil it is you don't need to look at it just take a few drops and put them on your hand like this. Rub your hands together and take three deep breaths through the nose and I want you to exhale all the negativity out of your mouth, okay? And yes, it's the right oil. Good. Keep your eyes closed, or if they aren't closed, please close them. Now, focus your energy, your thoughts on your brain and see your brain as a vessel filled with toxins, filled with dark energy, filled with all the pus and disgusting, awful, toxins, poisons that we have created and allowed in our mind. Just move your head and see that, that water or them toxins just flowing side to side, all that liquid. Just as you move your head, you're seeing all of that black, gooey, disgusting matter, which is in our brain that should not be there because we've created it and we've allowed it to fester, okay? So as you shake your head, you can see 
almost like a, a vessel filled with this toxin. Now, I want you to breathe in through your nose and as you exhale out, I want you to see that them toxins go down and down each time you take a breath in and a breath out. As you release it, the toxins go down. Okay, so let's give that a try. Good, again, breathe through the nose. As you blow out through your mouth, see all that liquid reduce. Good, again. Exhale all the toxins that are coming out of your mouth and see the reduction of that negative liquid. Again, breathe in. Deep breath, hold it for a few seconds. Now a deep breath out, slowly. Watching all of that pus just come out and watching that vessel deplete all that negative energy, toxins and poisons. We're nearly at the bottom now. One more. Blow. Deep breath out, keep blowing. It's going down till it's now at the very last drops and it's gone. Good, open your eyes. Okay, grab a crystal. Good. Hold that crystal in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Put it in your palm. Put both palms together over the crystal. And now take three breaths and focus on both your palms and feel the energy of the crystal in your hand. Deep breath in. Focus on your palms, focus on the crystal, deep breath out. Feel the power of the crystal and its energy. Start to awaken your, your hands, your <clears throat> palm power points, the chakras in your palms. Again, deep breath in. Fully focused on the energy of your palms and that amazing crystal that you have in your hand, which is now starting to work its magic. Deep breath out. Hold for a few seconds. Feel your hands warming and tingling. Deep breath in through the nose again. Hold for a few seconds. Feel that energy of your palms and feel the power of the crystal blow out through your mouth. Gently. Good. Now take the crystal, put it somewhere, take one hand and the other hand and then bring them together. And now bring them apart slowly, still feeling the energy in your palms. Stop whenever you want and then slowly come in and visualize the energy between both your power points of your hands Eventually, slowly, you're going to feel a slight push between both of them, like two magnets repelling ever so slightly. Don't worry if you don't feel it at first. Go back again if you feel nothing. Go back again. Both hands repel out and then come in again. When you do it nice and slowly, not looking, just feel. Feel the energy. Feel the warmth, feel the power. Doesn't matter how close you want to come. You can come as close as you want. And if you've come so close, then just bounce up back and forth. Bounce back and forth. 
bounce back above. It's incredible, eh? Can you feel that power of energy around your hands and around the in, in between, the in between, back and forth. Okay, come, come out again, come out again. Close your eyes. Oh, I can feel it. It's, it's pushing my hands away now. <laughs> it's pushing my hands apart. Now come back in. Come back in now. I'm feeling it harder to come back in now. Beautiful. You've got it. You've got it. Now you're working with energy. Okay. Oh, my palms are tingling, going crazy. Okay, good. That's enough. Stop. Put both your palms down, faced up on your knees. Take either the left or right palm, and I want you to bring it up to your third eye or anywhere around your forehead and just move it, whether it's three or four or two inches away, just move your hand around, which is called the third eye. Just move it gently, anywhere you want, back and forth, up and down, side by side, round and round, but just keep your palm faced against your third eye. Oh, I can feel that now. My God. Beautiful. Beautiful. Move back and forth. You're doing the same thing as you did with both palms, but just with one. I can feel the heat now going, intensifying in my head. It's beautiful. Great. Get your other hand and put it where it's comfortable so you're nice and comfortable and keep it there and just go back and forth. Move slightly from side to side. Rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise if you want, whatever feels right. Go as far back as you want. Come back anytime you want, as close as you want, but don't touch the skin. Keep, just keep away from the skin. There's no need for that contact at the moment at all. Wow, it's getting very hot. And always remember that the other palm is feeding the whole of that arm, wrist straight up to there, so you've got double energy going straight through there so it's a great technique so bounce back and come forward back slowly forward again right to the third eye and then whenever you get a hot spot stay there and just leave it there i found my hot spot my tingling so i'm just going to leave it there i hope you can glimpse this and see and if you're doing it anyway naturally then good for you deep breath in through the nose exhale out and as you exhale out see all the power of your palm blasting your third eye with a beautiful light of healing see how you can see with your eyes closed and it's becoming brighter that is the power of your energy. Awakening the third eye is one of the most amazing things you can do. And this is a practice I did for 17 years until this day I still do it before I start any of my healing work or any of my psychic attunement. Deep breath in, blow out. As you blow out, see the power going through into your third eye. And that vessel now is going to be filled with a beautiful white, beautiful, pure, clear, healing energy. As you blow out, see the vessel getting higher and higher with this beautiful, clear, healing liquid. Make sure you're comfortable, so wherever your arm is, get it comfortable against your body. And remember to keep your palm away from your skin of the third eye. Keep the breath going through the nose. Blow out through the mouth and see the vessel 
growing and growing with this beautiful white pure liquid which is all healing. Another deep breath. Blow out. Watch the container in your mind fill as you blow out and fill higher and higher and higher and higher till it gets to the top. Now that it's at the top, Take your hand away. Look at me. Now we are ready to clear away some of our issues, but we're not gonna do it like I did as a child. We're going to focus on one thing at a time. So now let us begin the healing process. Now that our minds are clear, our PowerPoints are strong, our third eye is powerful, take both palms, face them towards the heavens. Always breathing through the nose and out of the mouth. I ask you one question. And focus on this question. All of your suffering and pains, all of your family and all of your friends, all of your worries, everything that you do in your life, let us focus on one thing today that we would like to heal and clean and cleanse and detangle from all of our issues. Focus on the one thing, just one thing at a time. What would we like to heal? Is it a person that you have an issue with? Is it a knee-jerk reaction? Is it a fear that you hold within yourself? Take your time and focus on that one thing. Now that you know what that one thing is, I want you to put a chair in front of you. Visually see a beautiful gold chair, solid gold, pure healing. I want you to take that fear or that person or you and put it in that chair. Whatever it is, put that one thing in the chair. Now that it's there, I want you to take both your hands and face it towards the chair. I want to take your third eye and focus it towards the chair. And I want you to heal that issue away so it disappears into nothing. Remember, as you breathe through the nose, you are intaking the energy of Mother Earth and the universe. And as you breathe out, it blasts through your hands and heals whatever needs healing. Deep breath in. Blow out. See the energy go into the issue and change it so it disappears. Each breath that you take, each exhale dissipates that worry or problem or fear. You're doing great. Don't stop. There is no need to understand why you're dissipating it, where it's going, how it's going. Just let it be and follow this simple technique. Mine is nearly gone, which is a simple worry of myself and where I am right now and my fear of the future. I'm seeing myself disappear with laughter, not with sadness, but with laughter, with love, with joy.
Good. Now it's disappeared, put your hands back down. Place either the left or right hand on your heart and repeat. Where I am right now is where I should be. Where I'll be taken to is exactly where I'm going. I trust with all my heart on my journey, my path and my higher consciousness. I trust in me. I am loved. I am protected. Keep your hand on your heart. Deep breath through the nose. As you blow out, remember all that beautiful light that's within your mind. It is now going to go through your body, through your shoulders, through your elbows and to the hand that is in the heart and it's going to blast the energy in your heart as you breathe out. Very good. Deep breath again. As the deep breath goes in, you can see the liquid running through your shoulder, through your arm, up to the wrist and on your palm. It blasts into your heart. As you exhale, it blasts inside. Feel the heat of your palm becoming more powerful than it's ever been. Your other palm is also receiving the universal energy of pure healing, which is also running through the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, and right to the other shoulder, and right to the other hand. So you have two energies running through at any given moment. Deep breath in, breathe out and blast that energy like a jet wash into your heart. You're doing great work. This is phenomenal work. I can feel it through the screen. I can feel you're doing great work. Deep breath again. This is the last breath of all of that beautiful, gorgeous white energy running through your neck, down to your shoulder, through your elbow, up to your wrist and into your palm and blasting into your heart and strengthening your heart like never before. Exhale. Relax, stay as you are. Breathe normal as you are. I speak from my mum, who is my channel in spirit, who is always there, who loves me with all her heart. And she gives me this message to you today. There is a reason why you are here right now. There is a reason why you've taken these simple steps as my son has done when he was 38. Use this very simple technique for the rest of your life for each individual issue you may hold. Follow these steps and these guidance and you will find your life becoming easier stronger, more rewarding, more powerful. Healing is part of this journey. The simple techniques are the ones that are the most powerful. It will help you. Simplicity. One chain at a time. One focus at a time. That is the secret to a sleepless or a sleeping night. <laughs> Not a sleepless, but a sleeping night. <laughs> I had many sleepless nights, I can tell you, before. At 38 years old, when I started practicing this, my sleepless nights disappeared. I felt the energy of my mum whispering to me. Each time, one of those chains disappeared it was so amazing. Like, I can't believe I'm sleeping. I can't believe I'm not feeling angry anymore. I can't believe I'm not feeling depressed anymore. I can't believe I'm not 
the person I was. How is this possible? It's possible because you have taken the steps on healing yourself because no one else can heal you. No one else can make you feel good. No one else can make you feel bad. It is a choice. It is your energy that focuses on the mind that fills it with pus and disgusting energy that makes you not want to even breathe or feel like you want to live. Or you can fill your mind with the most amazing energy of love and healing. Pure love and healing. This is your choice. As my mum speaks to me through you and I feel my heart becoming stronger each moment. I feel you too and I feel you're becoming stronger each moment. I know you are me and I am you, but we are individuals and we have our own journey. It has taken me this far to be able to feel the energy, which is now second nature to me. But if you keep practicing, if you keep doing this, you will find that this becomes second nature, like driving a car. The first time you get in it, it's so confusing. It's so challenging to understand everything. But if you keep going in that car and keep driving it, eventually, you don't even need to think. It just becomes part of who you are. This is exactly the same process with spiritual healing and techniques that you can utilize and you can adapt and change to your own benefits and your own understanding and your own healing path. Never follow one person. Never be the copy of another. Create your own healing techniques. This is just a way to begin. Last three deep breaths, which is the trinity of healing, the body, mind and spirit. Let us heal the body. Deep breath in. Now your heart is going to blast that energy all across your physical blowout. Feel that amazing energy pour through the whole of your fingers and your toes and all your body, the healing. Feel the tingling, feel that energy of healing. Deep breath through the nose again. Breathe out and blast that energy through your body again. Wow. Wow. One more time. The second deep breath we do is for the mind. Breathe in. Use that energy in your heart and blast your mind. Clearing all that is no longer needed. The sleepless nights, the issues, the problems, the fears, the worries. Deep breath through the nose. Using the heart energy, blast up to the mind again. Wow, feel that. Clear it and blast that energy, clearing all the doubt and the fears and the anxiety. Deep breath again through the nose. Use that jet wash and blast your mind. Clear the rubbish, the dirtiness, any little residue of negative energy. Breathe out. Feel your head expanding, feeling amazing and light. Brilliant. And now the final three breaths is to do with your spirit. Deep breath in. Blast all the energy to the consciousness, the real you, and give it thanks and love and all your strength and light. Breathe in through the nose again. 
Breathe out and give the love to your consciousness, to who you are, the real you. Say thank you at the same time. The last breath, the most powerful, deep breath in. The biggest thank you to your spirit of who you are for all the recognition of it does for you to connect you to the spirit world, your family and your loved ones may become stronger and more powerful from this moment on. Deep breath and then exhale. Thank you. One minute of silence, contemplation, feel, but don't look. time come back to yourself keeping your hand on your heart and your other hand facing towards the heavens and when you're ready you can open your eyes Ooh. that final part was beautiful my mum was behind me and she touched my shoulders it's beautiful sometimes we forget how close they are Okay, you can take the hand away from the heart if you can, if you dare. How's it feel? Mine feels like it's like it, it's floating and the power and the energy is still in my hand. So I'm so thankful for you to be here today. I am so thankful that we were able to do this together. And I truly mean this from the bottom of my heart. I hope you felt something. Because if you felt just a little thing, then welcome to my world at 38. I practiced every day this and it became stronger and stronger to the point where now I'm normally in tears and I've never felt as good in my life and as strong. I hope this little workshop, this little routine serves you well and you come back here often and to have this guidance a bit like a, a driving instructor and eventually you won't need the driving instructor you'll just do it yourself and you'll probably call me and say oh i'm doing it slightly different now and i'll say good you're following your truth yeah we are all one we are all connected but we are still individual in this world and we should follow that individuality that deep individual spirit that lies within that consciousness that's why you're here and thank you to my black tourmaline that's helped me today and thank you to your crystal as well thank your crystal because it's alive and it's there to help you and possibly wear it today keep it on you today as a thank you I wish you well have a great day guys and remember the path of enlightenment is sometimes the biggest mountain in the world. But hey, we're all climbing it and soon we'll be at the top. And when we are, we'll be able to take a deep breath, look down and be proud of what we've conquered. You're doing great. I'm with you. You're with me. Bye.